what is up you guys welcome back to my channel a little bit of a different setting we are in my bedroom my paris bedroom like my favorite room in the house ever maybe at the end of this video i need to give you guys like a quick room tour it's kind of messy right now because i just filmed a shopping haul for tiktok but anyways i digress I thought it'd be fun to sit down today and just film a quick little like casual life update because I haven't been filming vlogs as much and I just want, I have a few things to catch up on and I feel like all my fellow entrepreneurs out there, like it's fun to just like have people to relate to. I love watching this type of content. So I have a little just life update, random things to share video. Maybe if you're just chilling um, on the weekend or in the afternoon, want something to watch, hang out with a friend, we can hang out. But I am just finishing up my protein shake. So I was like, let me get fueled up for the video. I need to put you guys on to the first form caramel latte protein powder. The best protein powder I've ever tasted. All of the level one proteins are really good. But this one in particular is so good. And I just finished a whole protein shake of that. So there's a, I'll put a link down below if you want free shipping on your order over $75 from first form because I'm quite literally obsessed with all of their stuff but the collagen the salted caramel collagen and the caramel latte protein are like to die for and it is the perfect thing for me to drink in the afternoon uh because i get hungry and i have a sweet tooth and it's like the best of both worlds after a workout so set that over there some water i actually have like a little list i'm not like gonna fall asleep during this you guys a little list of things I wanted to share about but I feel like I used to film at home vlogs like all the time and share so much stuff with you guys and then now it's just more like down to business you know but that doesn't mean that I don't love sharing like different life stuff with y'all and I feel like I've had a bunch of new things happening in my life I felt like for a while like things were crazy like I was like last year especially I was like buying houses I was doing all kinds of crazy new launches with my business and this year, oh, see, I can't sit in the bed. <laughs> and this year, it's just been a little bit more like chill, but at the same time, so many new and exciting things are happening and I think that things chill out a little bit as your business matures and I like am really enjoying that. So, first life update, finally got a new phone. I'm loving it it's the iphone 14 pro max it's so good the camera is so much better um yeah i needed a new phone so bad but so first things first you guys know that i like to travel so my biggest update is that i'm going back to europe for six weeks in october which is exciting and it's so weird because six weeks almost feels like kind of short to me like we've done Europe for like three months, like over two months. Like we've done a bunch of different variations of like trip lengths. So it feels a little bit short to be going for six weeks, which sounds so dumb. But we work the whole time we're there. We're not just like vacationing. Um, but yeah, that's going to be exciting. So far, the plan is going to be Copenhagen for a couple weeks. We're going to be in France a little bit, not Paris this time, I don't think, which I'm so sad about. Oh, Amsterdam, another city I've never been to. So it's going to be great city vibes. I'm already planning the outfits. I can't wait. Uh, and then Switzerland for a couple weeks. So a really fun six weeks in Europe. And I always get so excited about spending fall in Europe. It's just the best time to be there. I personally, like, if you guys are from Europe watching this, like, don't hate me, but. Europe in the summer to me is so stressful. Like the fact that there's no air conditioning, that gets me. Sorry, this lampshade looks crooked in the camera. And I think it actually might be, but I'm just going to leave it. It got damaged in our move and it was like an expensive lamp. And I'm just like, you do you girl. Like I'm not getting rid of you. So Europe is going to be fun. Excited about that. All my digital nomad girls, like it's our time. Can't wait to hang out in Europe again. Another thing, travel related. So I've been doing an interesting mix of travel this year. Nothing like super crazy long or extended. Like I swear last year I was gone for like the last six months of the year. Like I was in Maine for like well over five weeks. We were in Europe for a couple months, like right back to back. We were at the beach, like so many different things. This year has been a little bit more like sporadic, but I did just go out West twice for a total of three weeks. So I was in Utah and Arizona with one of my best friends. That was so amazing. And then I was just in Idaho 
uh, where were we? We were in Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah for a week, and I had such a good time. And this is where we're gonna get a little vulnerable <laughs> because I have literally been suffering like ever since we've been home. And I think it's because I liked it like too much out there. Like I loved, I obviously love Wyoming. You guys, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but I lived out there for a summer in college. I was obsessed with it and didn't want to leave. Like cried the whole airplane ride home that time. And then I just like, I've always been very grateful that I like live where I live and I live really close to family. And because we travel so much, it's very valuable for us that we don't have to also travel to go see family. Like they're here and we have all kinds of freedom and they can watch our house and everything like that. Um, but something like happened in me where I was like, I don't want to go home. <laughs> and so without saying too much, because I don't really know what the plan is going to be, I definitely think that I'm gonna be watching this video back. Probably not, I never watch my videos back, but I'm gonna maybe look back on this moment in like a year or less than a year, hopefully, and we may live somewhere different. So I don't know what that's gonna be, what the timeline's gonna look like, and I'm not one of those people who likes to say things and, and make a big like fuss about it and then it not happen, but I'll leave it at that. I think that my like nomadic tendencies and my joy in visiting other places is finally leeching over into my desire or like lack thereof to like live where I live right now so that's been very interesting to think about and the fact that my business can go anywhere is it makes it both easier and harder right because I could pick up and go anywhere with like with my laptop on my phone like there's nothing holding me back. But at the same time, like that can introduce a sense of instability, I think. So dealing with that and trying to lean into like my adventurous side, especially because I don't have kids yet. So that's that, you know, we'll, we'll see where, where life takes us on that front. But travel wise, like for me, for the rest of the year, aside from Europe, like I'm going to the beach in a couple of weeks, which I'm so excited about. I love going to the beach and like working from there and just getting to go there whenever I want. It's so fun. We don't have a beach house. The beach that we like to go to is honestly so like bougie and expensive. Um, so like we don't, we do not have a house there, but I definitely like visiting there as often as I can. And then we, where else are we going? We have our beach trip. We have Europe. Um, we'll probably go to the beach again at the end of the year. We have a few things intermixed, um, just different, different things that we're doing, but I might throw a road trip in there at some point, mainly just working, seeing friends, planning for some big things to come next year. Like I said, potentially move related. So that's super exciting. So while we're on the kind of like vulnerability train, not that, that was like overly vulnerable, I don't think I talked about this on my social media, but I was dealing with like a pretty significant period of burnout for a while. And I, I'm the kind of person who totally respects somebody else who says they are burnt out. Like if I have a client or a friend or uh, someone who works for me or whatever, who's dealing with like burnout, I'm always like, oh my gosh, like I feel so bad. I, I want them to take the time for them, like the whole thing. When it's me, I'm like, it's not real. Like, I'm not burnt out. Like, get over yourself. You're fine. And I think that, like, looking back on the last, honestly, like, year, I'm recognizing now that everything I was doing in my business, like, just going ham all the time, like, selling, working with tons of clients, doing tons of projects, tons of traveling, all the things, I think that, like, that honestly was starting to get to me without me realizing it. And this is why I say, like, rest and recover before your like body and mind forces you to because I think I was kind of getting to the point of like getting sat down on my ass by my own body and mind and you know just having that realization of like girl you have to take a little break so without really saying it to anybody during the time it was kind of going on I think I was dealing with a lot of burnout just kind of low motivation I have had my own struggles in the past with anxiety with a little bit of depression just different things where I have to just keep an eye on my own like mental health and with all of that being said I made some business decisions that were based around like the idea that I wanted to have some like recovery time I wanted to get my mind right 
I wanted to make sure that I still liked what I was doing. And I've very much come into a place where I feel so good and so motivated and full of life and like ready to adventure and do all kinds of fun stuff. You know, which is why I'm talking about like a potential move and traveling and all these things. But I've also had a lot of business success like coming back into business and not I didn't ever fully step away but I took a break from launch and you guys might have noticed I didn't do like um I didn't do a Q1 like launch of my signature program for coaching because those programs my foundations of online coaching program which is like my signature mentorship that I wrote the book for and everything if you guys don't know about that um I have videos about that on my channel you can message me if you're starting a business and you're curious but that program like sells out and does really really well and I did not have the capacity to like deal with like the onboarding and, and the clients and everything and I like to give 150% constantly. So I took a little break and honestly I feel so freaking good about that decision and I have been thriving ever since then. I just went through my most recent launch. Um, so I'm wrapping that up tomorrow. Actually, it'll have been a minute once this video comes out, the wait list for January will actually be live at that point. But that launch of my business mentorship has been so successful, like major sellout, like big success and with so much ease and peace for me. And gosh, like that, Oh my gosh, it's just the best feeling ever. It's a testament to like my marketing strategies, which I teach my clients and that's so massive for me. Like if it's working for me, I'm gonna teach it to you. And if it's not working in the real world, in the real industry, like we're not covering it. So the marketing's been great. The strategy's been good. I've just been at peace, so happy. So yeah, it's it's been a vibe and that's been exciting. And I think that I've been able to see that success because I took a little break took a little step back um, and that was awesome. I think it also comes down to like working on projects that you're into and I have not been forcing myself to do things in my business that haven't felt like aligned. I haven't been overworking myself, which I've had a major tendency to do in the past. And I just kind of recalibrated like my expectations of myself and I'm still seeing such amazing output in my business while I get to be like peaceful and like happy and have a great social life and what I would call like a normal life where I think for so long I was so caught in like my own little world of entrepreneurship that I almost couldn't like participate in like my friend groups normally and like all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So in the vein of like business success, I know I wanted to mention my launch. If you're joining me for this mentorship and you're watching this, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to change your life through business. It's gonna be so, so good. Um, but I would love to have any of you guys watching this video who wanna work with me in any capacity or get your hands on any of my like courses or guides or anything. I will make sure it's all linked down below and you can always feel free to touch base with me on Instagram and be like, hey girl, X, Y, and Z are things I'm trying to achieve in my business or things I wanna do. Um, direct me, you know, put me in the right direction and I will absolutely do that. But a big achievement for me today actually, so this week and, and today, has been hitting major like numbers, milestones on my social media. So I've talked a lot about how you do not need to have a massive audience on any platform to make a bunch of money on that platform. I made my first posts like three years ago, I think, about making my first six figures in my business with less than like seven or 800 followers on Instagram. And that was like my only platform at the time. So that's really crazy. And since then I've obviously grown and it's been really great. But like in the end, like I'm not an influencer. I am a niche business owner. And with that being said, like it is not the expectation on my end that I'm gonna have audiences of like millions and millions of people. Now I do have some sense of virality when it comes to certain like YouTube videos that I've made that continue to perform extremely well, like years and years down the line. And it's how the majority of people find me. If you guys have seen my like coaching certification videos, that's what I'm talking about. But with all that being said, like, again, I don't expect to have the most massive audiences because I stay true to my niche. And I, although I do embody like the brands and I create expansion, especially on TikTok is like my biggest 
place where I just kind of allow myself to be the brand and I share personal stuff and lifestyle things. Um, but that all being said, it's still really satisfying to hit like achievements and goals on social platforms so for example you get a lot of things unlocked for you on tiktok a lot of features when you have a thousand followers on tiktok and when you imagine like a thousand people not just watching your content but making the decision to like follow you and keep up with your content that's a pretty big deal so i had a thousand followers on tiktok which is like very hard earned testing different strategies getting to a place where i have an audience full of interested relevant people not that people are irrelevant but relevant people it's like my ideal client base so that's been so exciting and then i hit 3k today on my youtube channel which i started this channel when i was in college i was sitting on my bed like filming about taking the ace health coaching exam and having no idea how i was going to put that certification to use and now i I'm using this platform to educate literally like thousands of people on online coaching entrepreneurship my podcast has been doing so well on youtube i just posted um an episode this week about financial freedom that's literally gotten hundreds upon hundreds of views so many of you guys are loving that content and it's just been so fun to have this platform and it's been so lucrative and like it's been very success inducing for me. This is where so many people find me. So for all y'all watching who are subscribed, I appreciate you so much. I would so appreciate anyone who does watch my videos and is watching this and is not subscribed. If you hit subscribe, it really just supports me in that I'm shown that this is a viable platform to continue to use and it doesn't really come at any cost to you. So stop for a second, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, and like this video, seriously, if you guys like this type of just update, chit chatty type content, it was very tempting for me to just sit down, have my moment, chat to you guys like we're friends, because we are, of course, and kind of fill you in on where things are at for me. Um, other updates quickly are like, if you want to get on my wait list to work with me in 2024 or later this year, all my wait lists will be linked down below. So for my signature foundations program, if you want to work with me one on one, you can get into the elevated coach mentorship. I will be enrolling for that mentorship one more time this year. So check all that out down below. Um, all my courses, all my guides, all that, all that jazz is linked down below. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for 3k um, and for all your support. Subscribe if you're not already so we can grow the family. And I will see you guys in the next one. I literally need to like lay down and like take a nap. <laughs> I'm very chill from our from our combo bestie. But yes, love you the most. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.